Hello everyone. Uh, we shall do the regulated power supply now. Uh, in this experiment, we are building a D IC regulated DC power supply. A DC power supply is something which provides direct current uh, power or direct electric power. And here we are building a voltage source, hence it provides a con voltage, direct voltage as the output. And DC regulated means, regulated means re being constant. Hence, in this power supply, the voltage output remains constant with time. And ideally, as also constant with respect to the voltage load connected across the circuit. Okay. And in this circuit, we have a... Uh, a full wave rectifier that uses a center tap transformer. These are the two ends of the transformer. This is the center tap terminal. And we are using two junction diode uh, to do the rectification. Rectification is converting alternating current to direct current. These are the two junction diode we are using. Please note that there is a small band on the diode. That band indicates the end type. This is, you can see a band on the diode, that band indicates the end type. Please connect the two P-type ends to the either side of the transformer. I'll connect one here and we shall connect the other to the other end. One end of the transformer goes here. One end of the transformer is connected with the diode, the P terminal of the diode, and another end of the transformer is also connected to the P terminal of the diode. And the end ends of the both the diodes are shorted. Actually that shorting is done on the breadboard. That means they are connected along the same column. I have connected this here and I will connect this diode also along the same column next to it. Okay. And after this the, the center terminal of the transformer is used as the common ground Hence, let us take a wire from that. From there, let's use these 25 as the common ground points. I'll connect it here. Now, these two diodes will do the rectification. Now, a capacitor is connected between the common end terminal to the ground so that it will filter off the ripples and we are using an electrolytic capacitor please note that there are uh, there is a polarity for the electrolytic capacitor on this terminal there is a band on the band there is a minus return that indicates this is a anti sorry a negative terminal and this is the positive terminal the negative terminal is connected to the ground and the positive terminal is connected to this short, the, uh, the place where the two diodes has been shorted. And we are using IC 7806 for the regulations. I don't know whether you will be uh, you are able to see the numbers on the IC. It is 7806. 78 series is a regulated regulation IC series. 06 indicates it's a uh, it provides an output of 6 volt. If it is 78010, then it will be a 10 volt regulation IC. And in this, uh, this is the pin number 1, pin number 2, pin number 3. The pin number 1 must be connected to this the place where the diodes have been shorted. That is this pin number 2. Two, that is the middle one is connected to the ground the middle one is connected to the ground and the pin number 3 is connected to some random point on this breadboard from there another capacitor with the negative to the ground positive to this is connected 
and make sure all your connections of the ground connections happen only in within this 25 if you cross the fifth block these 25 and these 25 are not interconnected in case if you have to use both of them then you will have to do an, an external interconnection between them otherwise it is better to re restrain uh, to do only these 25 now across this capacitor across the secondary capacitor we are connecting a load resistance as well as a voltmeter to measure the voltage output voltage we have a resistance box and while connecting itself or at least before you turn the circuit on you have to uh, make sure at some values of the resistances are unplugged in the resistance box because as soon as you switch on if all the keys are plugged in the resistance box the resistance of the resistance box would be zero or in other words the load resistance will be zero if the load resistance is zero then the current will be very large ideally infinity uh, of course you won't get infinite current here because the resistance will not become exactly zero it will be very low hence a care should be taken uh, if, if that happens the IC will get heated up there will be chances of uh, permanent da uh, damage to the IC if that happens hence please make sure you won't uh, you keep at least one or two keys unplugged okay this is one terminal of the load I am connecting this to the capacitor this terminal oh sorry here I have connected to a different one here and the other term the same point will be connected to the positive terminal of the load sorry no voltmeter positive terminal of the voltmeter make sure they are all along the same column the other terminal is connected to the negative and there is a connection from here to the negative of the voltmeter. Now that completes the circuit connection. Let us uh, switch on and see what happens. And make sure you have unplugged some of the resistances before switching on.